this feels so 90s even 2002 which is we just gotta we gotta get back Hey, welcome to Tech Dive AV Club. This is Adam, and we're talking about Vegas Pro, really all the Vegas Pros, but but Vegas Pro 19 in particular, and we're talking about how to customize it. First off, if you want to customize the way Vegas looks, one thing to remember is you can always choose what windows are out. So if you go to View, Window Layout, and you can select these custom layouts, where you can actually like once you make a layout you can save a layout and you can hit save layout as and then you can actually name it and then tell it what spot to put it in what shortcut to put it in and what uh, folder is going to be responsible for remembering that in your computer which is probably just going to be an app data folder very common uh, and then that will actually remember your window layout so the next time you want to get back to a particular layout that you had you just click on this button or use like alt d one two three four one of these shortcuts provided here uh, but you can also do stuff like hit the default audio mixing um, layout and you'll it'll go ahead and pop up windows uh, that it thinks you should have now um, with the explorer or things like that when you want to dock them you can just hold control and it'll actually snap them into place or you can actually uh, kind of put them in weird spots doing that actually uh, holding control again will help break it out um, but if it's a place it can be snapped like look I just snapped two windows together uh, now I have the ex mixing console on top of the Explorer um, the Explorer is really tiny though. You can make any window bigger by just go hovering over the edge with your mouse and when you get the double window you can expand it and then you're gonna have whatever size window you want and if you have more than one monitor you can put them at two different monitors. Um, but I'm going to get rid of these and I'm going to go back to the default layout. I usually am going to accept I don't want the Explorer. I usually use the default layout mostly because that's what people are expecting when they see Vegas. So for a tutorial, it's helpful for people to kind of see what they're usually using. If you want an individual window to pop up, so like you don't want to use like hit Alt G and do the color mixing uh, and Alt G again to get rid of it. If you just want an individual window, you can come down here to windows and select any of these windows. We're not going to talk about these buttons right now because um, they're more to do with like what you're currently editing and stuff like that and we don't have time to get into that in this video. Uh, but back to this example, if I hit video scopes it pops up video scopes. If I hit X and I want it back I can go there and get it back. So now the next thing to remember is uh, to change the colors and stuff because uh, we've talked about changing sizes and positions so that's all just done through dragging hitting control and, uh, and undocking and docking windows where you want them to be you can make it look like DaVinci Resolve if you so choose but you don't don't do that okay so hit preferences and then you can go to display and here there's cool things so let's get some tracks on here I'm going to first have to cancel here and add some tracks we're gonna add an audio track and so now we've got look we got a little rainbow of tracks here because I had done some customization we're gonna talk about how to do that customization yourself so go to uh, options and then preferences and then here you can go to display and uh, you can change things so like there's different colors you actually have A through H different colors you can change so for see that bright green that's using the A color I'm going to change that to like a black I don't know why you do that then I'm gonna hit apply now this is black here and you can actually use it to color code tracks uh, or, or things like that you can also name your tracks too um, I want to show you that we're gonna double click here you can name these tracks anything and you can do that for audio and video and so that's also super helpful especially if you like making a template or for something so um, we're gonna go back to options and then preferences and then display uh, you can do the same thing for the volume envelope so uh, I have to actually put up some envelopes here so these envelopes you see that's the volume envelope you have to pan envelope stuff like that we can't if you don't know anything about envelopes this is not the video for that I do have videos all about audio stuff and envelopes and 
this is not the video. So preferences, and then if you go to display, uh, then see this envelope is purple. But what if I wanted this envelope to be bright green and then hit apply? Now the envelope down here is bright green. These are your snapping colors. So what pops up when you snap to something? So let's get some media down here so I can show you. So with the different, uh, let's go to just grab some stuff like this. So uh, when you snap to something, see how it kind of highlights? Well, this is highlighting orange, green, because it's snapping to your regions. Uh, but what if you want to see what happens when the loop region snaps? So snapping is what happens when something snaps into it. So if you change the snapping color for something, you're changing the color for what it will be if something snaps to it, not if it snaps to something. So, uh, for example, if I hit Q, now it's a loop region. It was just like a region or an in and out point. Uh, when you hit Q, if you see the blue, it's a loop region. And it will loop what's inside this region. Uh, when I touch something to it, it highlights yellow now because I just changed it to do that. But if I touch something back to a different clip it'll highlight the color that that's been uh, changed to do so blue this way yellow this way because I changed it to yellow so that's the snapping points you can turn down the icon color icon strength and I will show you what that looks like in just a second the button highlight color you can change And we'll have to show you what that looks like afterwards. And then this is the dark, medium, light, and white versions. Uh, I usually like the dark version, um, but you might like medium better. I don't know why you would like the brighter ones, but if you so choose, we can do a brighter one. Okay, so we're looking for the icon strength to be 50%, the button highlight color to be red, and it to be a white interface. And you can also do things like automatically hide docking areas. Um, display timeline at the bottom of main window position tabs at the top of docked windows uh so like the tabs are at the bottom of docked windows now you can have it at the top if you would like so let's do that uh and then you can do things like allow floating windows to dock hold control to override so like right now uh you have to control hold control to dock but if you just want them to dock automatically instead of holding control you can do that reverse event background color um Let's select it and then use high DPI scaling where available. That's usually, um, and then um, this is use alternate high DPI settings. I gotta be honest, I'm gonna have to ask about this one, but that means you're probably not gonna use it very often. So I'm gonna hit apply and then I'm gonna have to restart for some of these changes to take place. Like, oh, look at that. Um, so this is, this is feeling so old hey this is adam from the future and i realized i missed something i missed hamburger buttons whenever you see these three little hamburger buttons there's usually an option called edit the invisible button set and i've talked about this a lot of different times but if i'm talking about customizing vegas i should talk about it here too uh you can add whatever button they give you the option to add right here and you can show all or hide all buttons if you want and then whenever you add a new button in the selection you're going to have the option to press that button on the panel so these buttons are kind of collapsed and hidden in the in, these are all the the buttons you have options to press in the hamburger menu and if you want to expose them to the GUI you can edit the visible button set and then boom now you have another button i hope you have a great time making your interface look exactly how you want it to because that's one of the design goals for vegas is to give you control over how your editing interface looks instead of uh just kind of cramming one down your throat so thanks so much for watching like this video helped you out subscribe if you're looking for more vegas content because i got it and i will see you guys next time